is where what I've decided to do I want to have the digitalis next season in the same place so what I do rather than collect the seed is I just bend the seed heads down in the garden in the same place rather than go through all the trouble of collecting the seed and let the seeds plant themselves so you can see what's happened this is the area that had the, the flowers on it last season during the season this is completely dried out now the seeds were actually here where the flowers were and so what I've done is I just simply bend the, the flower stalk down and the seeds will plant themselves my favorite way to garden is to do as little work as possible and this clearly does the job for me next year in the spring when those seedlings come up I can prick them out and move them around to other parts of the garden or I can let them stay and the again mother nature does the job for me on the other hand if I want to collect the seed I can come over here to another digitalis that had bloomed for us and here we have the seeds and we're going to do the same thing that we would do with the poppy and in this case we'll cut the flower stalk off and we will bend it down into the tub and you can see the seeds are coming out and they're falling right into the tub just by tapping the flower stalk into the tub and it's as simple as that again I could have bent this one over if I wanted to but I didn't need to because I've done it about four feet away with its neighbor and if you look in the tub you'll see this one flower stalk has delivered oodles and oodles of seed that's a highly technical term that we use yes, oodles and oodles. oodles and again what we would do with this is we'll use the funnel technique take a prescription bottle bend the tub and pour the seeds right in to the bottle and now I have a nice neat way to store this it'll be dark it'll be dry and they'll be ready for me to plant either next spring or now if I want to plant it in the garden thank you Lorraine that's lovely